Before we can calculate clearances, we need to identify the cylinder. Honda produced two variations of this cylinder, A and B. You can find A or B stamped on the rear mounting hole on the left side of the cylinder. We already calculated the groove and pin clearance in the piston inspection video, so now we need to measure the outside diameter of the piston perpendicular to the wrist pin bore. The diameter of the piston should be no less than 2.609 inches for both A and B cylinders. My piston measured at 2.607, so I'm out of spec by 0.002 inches. We will also use this measurement to calculate the maximum piston to cylinder clearance. We are going to use the measurements we took earlier to determine three things. Cylinder wear, cylinder out of round, and cylinder taper. The wear limits for both A and B cylinders is no greater than 2.615 inches at its largest measurement. This cylinder measured at 2.615, so I am just inside the wear limit. The out of round limit is 0.002 inches. Using the chart you made earlier, determine out of round by finding the difference between X and Y for measurements point A and B. This cylinder has no out of round for point A, and B is 0.001 inches out of round, which is within spec. The cylinder taper limit is also 0.002 inches. To find the cylinder taper, we must use column X. Subtract the bottom number from either A or B, whichever one is larger. This cylinder has a taper of 0.0005, which is also within spec. The piston to cylinder clearance must be no greater than 0.004 inches. Take the piston diameter measurement and subtract it from the largest cylinder measurement. The largest measurement on my cylinder was 2.615 inches, and my piston measured at 2.607 inches, leaving me with a clearance of 0.008, which puts me 4 thousandths of an inch out of spec. The new piston I will be using measured at 2.6125, bringing my clearance to 0.025 inches, which is well within clearance. 